Hi, welcome to Python Date Calculator. So the whole idea of this very program is to be able to subtract the first date from the second date and that's all there is to it. So let me show you guys how it works anyway. Right in there I'm going to enter the following, let's say the 1st of December, let's go for the 90s, 99 to present day. That's 24th of August 2018. There, all you just need to do is there. See, we have 6872 days apart. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Python development environment. We put one of these together with all these frameworks as well. So, let's do that now, guys. Alright, let's start off this date calculator by importing as follows from TK. You know, let's import it all and import the following as well. The next thing I want to do is to create a class. This class I'm going to call it calculate date. There, that's the name of my class now let's declare a function here and this function is going to be initialized as follows so that's going to be self comma root there and type column there so the next thing i want to do is to say self dot root equals root and let's copy this to give it a title self dot title equals i'm gonna call that date calculator there we go and self dot geometry And I will make that 1350 by let's go for 750 plus zero plus zero. There we go. Right, that's fine. The next thing I want to do now is to create a main frame. This main frame is going to be reside or resident inside self dot root close that and main frame dot green there okay okay before I continue I'm gonna run it up all right just run it that up so let's save it copy that and let's go straight to file save as there we go let's give it a name i'm going to call it pi underscore date calculator and click on ok save so if i decide to run this now all you will just see is going to be a huge frame and that's it right that's all there is to it one other thing i'd like to do is let's change the color of the background I'm in here just paste that in there so we we'll say dot config or configure let's make that background and that will be equals powdered blue right done if I decide to run this now save and run you will just see the interface is now powdered blue there we go so close that let's go back in here the next thing i'd like to do is to create the following i want to call that main top main one that's for my frame so i can even just copy all of this okay that goes right here and inside is very frame top frame one is going to be resident inside the main frame itself right and we can just set the border equals 
B D equals 14 and the width equals 1 three, five, zero. and let's just speed down now the main frame the top frame is ready so if I run in this is what you guys will see there we go okay so let's add more frames inside our very frame so I'm just going to copy this copy paste alright this will be 2 frame number 2 ok move that up and this will be 3 and five so five here okay now I can now change all of these other ones so this is going to be the main one and this will be inside this frame number two will be resident inside one and two is resident the three is resident inside two change that to two why is inside three three is inside let's say five is inside four so if I come in here and run this program now this is how it should look like there we go you see that guys all right it's not finished yet because we still need to adjust the width and this if this is up uh, let's say this is 350 then we can just make this one 1300 take 50 off and this one will be 2 why this one will be 200 1200 and this one is going to be 1 okay let's add another one another frame here so this will be the last frame and this last frame I'm just gonna call it top frame copy that paste that in there and change it to top frame in the case of top frame this is going to be 1000 right just make it 1000 there alright and this we can change it to 300 we can change this to 350 make this 400 and make this 450 make this 500 and there so if I run it now this is how it should look like let's see there we go you see that guys so in here is where I'm going to put my my other widget so right here underneath here let's add my widget first the widget is going to be right inside here Okay, this should be five, not four. Right. Okay, and the next thing I want to do now is to enter as follows. This is going to be the very first widget. So let's add a add a blind break there, and right there is going to be self dot btn. Uh, no that's for the button first let's take care of the labels first LBL that's going to be title all right in the case of title that's going to be label and this label is right inside top frame there and the font of the label okay I had to speed up the process of these labels and the text box so have a good look at it just to save time so if I run it now this is what you guys will see there we go so I now need to add some buttons underneath here so close that and I've also declared three variables there that I'm going to be using okay 
let's come down here and add our button we just have to speed that up there we go and those are our buttons okay so if I run it now run now we have three buttons in total and those three buttons are inside top frame there we go those are the buttons they do nothing now so close that as you can see they're all inside all the widgets are inside top frame so let's come up here and here I'm going to declare as follows let's create a function function I or okay let's say I exit and I exit is going to be inside or it's going to be as follows I exit equals tk inner dot message message box dot ask yes no so that's going to be the title is going to be date calculator there comma I would then say confirm if you want to exit there and close the bracket so right underneath here we then use an if statement if I exit greater than zero then destroy root dot destroy return there so that is taken care of so I can just get this I exit copy that and use a command to to activate that so come right here comma command equals I exit there okay. and the other one that's reset let me copy that and paste that in there reset I'm just gonna call that I reset and this one is let's call that I date I date yeah so those are the three functions I intend to use okay so the other two is now there so let's create i reset and i date there we go i reset and what are we resetting is going to be these three variables there so the other one is i date that's the one that calculate the date right and I reset I'm just gonna copy all of these and change things around yeah copy it all and paste it right there so the first is going to be dot dot set there we go that's taking care of copy this paste it here for the others and get it get it indented there that's fine okay for the last function let's say the date one let's say that is okay that's going to be my variable here checking date dot get that's the very first one get rid of this and the second one let's get the second one on board as well so the second one is check out date and this one let's make that too let's get this one aligned and then what we then need to do is to work out date one equals 
date time dot sp strp time this is a function within python that you guys can use and you can always see more information about it on the help file so i'm going to say percent date percent month forward slash and percent year there okay enter all right speech map there so i'm going to repeat the same thing for the second one there we go this one is going to be number two and this is going to be this is one and the other one is two now for my total here so let's set the total whatever we have set it right in there we say total equals absolute set absolute and what are we setting absolute so i'm going to go for d2 minus or take away d1 dot this so that should do the trick really so let's close it all right there guys so what i'm going to do now is just to run it and let's see what's going to happen okay let's run the program have a good look at the functions and i've also called all of these functions here for the date for reset and for exit all right and those are the widgets title and uh, the text box then here are my functions and variables those are the three functions and right up here have my frames that I created and the library that was called so let's run it and see alright that looks good so let's go for whatever date we want as 5 and that will be 4th of let's go for maybe 2000 right of let's say 2010 and to present day which is 24th of september 2018 so calculate that is 3094 days i mean okay so that's how the to calculate that very date now if you want to find out more about date calculation you can just come right here and type in help and that is going to be date date time close that then just press enter there we go you can get all of the necessary information you want in here so all you type in there is help and type in date time okay this library actually tells you more about how to work out the date okay so I'm just gonna run it one more time close this let's run that run my program one more time there we go let's enter whatever there zero nine we don't even need to enter the zero because the way it's formatted and that is there and in here you can just say two nine 2018 there so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day and bye for now